from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 502 for Thursday, August 10th, 2023. This week we have banter, news, updates, and Esterbrook J in Ebonite, Lamy accents, Lamy balloons, Gerologio denim, Visconti earth origins that are just gorgeous, um, ST DuPont velvet <laughs> contest winner, a 60th anniversary vanishing point that is coming soon, and probably other things I'll remember later down the road. Hey, Lisa. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, Brian, please tell me a joke. Why don't keyboards sleep? Why? Because they have two shifts. I thought you don't do IT anymore. I don't do IT. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, and of course, you and I have a fond memory about keyboards. Uh, I, I, the keyboards, it was... Uh, not keyboards, it was uh, wireless adapters. No, it was oh, a keyboard. Oh, your, your keyboard, yeah. yes, yes. Early on in our relationship, our, my office used to be attached to our bedroom, and I would get up earlier than Brian in the morning and start typing away. And back in the day, I had one of your classic black, clackety, clickety keyboards. One day, Brian just comes in, hands me an Apple keyboard, and says, I'd like to stay in a relationship, so... <laughs> I'd like to stay married. I'd like to, I don't even know if we were married then, but I'd, I'd like to, yeah, stay married. I have since moved your office so often yeah. as well, in, a, in addition. <laughs> Freaked me out when you did that, too. I come home after being gone for 18 months, and he's like, let's move your office. It's a little freaky. But, well, so I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's. we have a ton of new stuff. We have, we have a couple things to talk about before oh. we get into new stuff. Uh, so we have a location bumper this week. It's Herb Park. Um, at just over uh, a tad over one mile away, Herb Park is now the closest park to Anderson Pens. Uh, in our previous location, uh, the closest one, of course, was City Park. Yes. Uh, but Herb Park features two seasonal outdoor swimming pools, a sports courts, and an ice skating rink. Really? Which uh, is, of course, not available in the summer? In the summer. It's either the pool or the uh, ice skating uh, you know, And that being said, I haven't been to, the, to this park in, in, in over a decade, so... Um, I just don't get out much. But. We went once or twice when the kids and I okay. first moved up um, back in like t- 2009, 2010, but I don't think we've been back since. No, no I haven't. So we should go. Uh, Saturday, August 12th is the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. What are you laughing at? The Perseids are... Just, pr- just happy. I'm just happy to be here. Prolific <laughs> meteor shower associated with the comet Swift-Tuttle. I'm learning all this. Uh, the meteors are called the Perseids because they appear from the general direction of the constellation Perseus. Oh, there you go. Uh, the peak time will be 8 a.m. UTC, which is 3 a.m. in central time. Excellent. Which is probably not I'd, I'd like to say I'm going to be up to watch this, but I'm not going to say You're I'm going to be up, up to watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Sunday, August 13th, International Left-Handers Day. Uh, International Left-Handers Day, of course, celebrates the uniqueness and differences of left-handed individuals. First observed in 1976 by Dean R. Campbell, founder of Left-Handers Day International Incorporated. Uh, and Oops. certainly, left-handers do have uh, differences in how they write yes. with the fountain pen, uh, which makes it a little more challenging. Are there any lefties in your side of the family? Absolutely none. Uh, my father, though, however, um, uh, right-handed, always, um, he golfed and uh, batted left-handed. Really? Yeah. Everything else he did was right-handed. So I don't know. There's probably a term for that if you do do one thing left-handed. But he couldn't. He, he could not golf right-handed. Okay. So. Well, um, my stepfather, my brother um, are both lefties, and um, our son is occasionally a lefty. He's like, What? He was for for many years when he was young. Garrett was a lefty. Why am I first learning this <laughs> well, he, on air? I never forced him out of it, but he eventually learned, taught himself to write, okay, um, and do other things with his right hand. But yeah, he started out as a lefty. Okay. And does does your brother golf left handed? I have no idea. I've never golfed with him. Okay. Right. Why don't you text him? And ask I him? I will text him and ask there him. There you go. But uh, anyway, I, in uh, and there are of course. There are some manufacturers who do make left-handed 
uh, nibs and mm -hmm. for fountain pens, a uh, sailor being one of them. And of course, Lamy makes a left-handed nib as well. So. Yes, very cool. Important right. news. News. Port news. Hobonichi. It's getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Very excited. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, reminder uh, to sign up uh, to be notified when Hobonichi is available. Um, you can subscribe to our newsletter, any page, uh, andersonpens.com. You can scroll down to the bottom. There'll be a link. Or you can look. Uh, there's a, a link for Hobonichi, or it's right in the middle of the menu bar. So uh, when you go to the, the, the website, it'll be right there. Uh, you can pull down any of the categories, and you'll see a link for Hobonichi sign up. Um, and then uh, sign up and we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, we do believe the preview will be available the week before. Yes. I believe the date is uh, rough, roughly the 25th. Um, and, uh, and then at that point, we'll be able to uh, announce all of the different patterns to uh, and covers. To reveal them to you so you can spend the next week drooling and strategizing. Sign up for the, 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 uh, the pieces that you want. So, and yeah. then of course... Uh, the launch date is uh, September 1st, which will be August 31st, uh, depending on what time they, they elect to, to launch. It's always the evening of the 31st here in the United States. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So we're getting ready. It'll be exciting. So sign up now. Yes. Yes. We are actively working on all of that now. Now uh, we get to the fun part. Just in. There's a ton of new stuff. It's been nice to... It was nice to kind of have it be calm while we were moving and having the pen party, but now suddenly everybody's got new things. Uh, the Estabrook Ebonite J. Uh, there were two colors, or there are two colors. We've sold out of the antique rose. We do have the lotus green. I'm gonna Vanna White that while you talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if we can get some more antique rose in. But, okay. Uh, but we've got the lotus green. So this is a vintage-inspired Estabrook J model. Uh, it's created from uh, German ebonite. Uh, they only made 600 pieces in each color, um, so you want to. If, if, if this appeals to you, you want to grab it. Yes. Um, the yellow and green swirled ebonite colors of the lotus green um, are reminiscent of vintage Ripple hard rubber pens. Very much so. Uh, and the colors are accented by gold plated trim and a lightly hand hammered barrel band. Um, which is which is definitely uh, very interesting and different. It's a wider band and then a smaller band. The thinner yeah. band is not hand hammered. The uh, fatter band is. Yeah. So no no cap band, and it is a little bit larger than the JR. Yes. Uh, uses the number six Yovo uh, steel nib. Um, so extra fine, fine, medium, broad, one point one are your nib options. Really pretty, and it absolutely. Reminds me of the old Waterman Ripple pens. Yeah, yeah. And then it's got, of course, it's got the jewel on the top. Just very like pretty. The That's really very soft and delicate coloring, which I like. So many pens these days are just like high in your face. Yeah, and they put the, uh, they put the old Esterbrook uh, engraving on the, the, the imprint on the barrel, which is kind of, kind of cool. Yeah. So Richard's, Richard's signature. So there's that. There's that. Uh, next up, the Lamy Accent. This is kind of a, a pen. Um, <laughs> this is a kind of a funny story behind this pen. Uh, we originally were going to get this pen uh, several months ago, and, and Dave and I were looking at the catalog, and we were when we were talking about getting uh, the new cases for the store and making the order so we could get the cases, we were talking about expanding the line, and Accent was one of the ones that uh, we were interested in. And uh, I was I was hung up on a description. In the uh, in the book that said interchangeable sections for these, and so when I went and I asked Tony, our rep, I said, "What's the deal with the, the interchangeable sections?" He says, "That's been discontinued." Except he was on his in his car or something, and he did a voice to text, and so the way the the email came ac across was that the accent was discontinued. So we dropped the we dropped it all together. We dropped the discussion, and then Tony was here for the pen party, and he said. Oh, well, th this case would look great if you had the accent. I said, well, I thought they were discontinued. He said, no, <laughs> they're not. So here they are. Um, they have uh, two different versions, uh, and uh, we're still waiting for the uh, the fountain pens to come in, but they should be in any day soon. But this is the Lamy accent in Briarwood, which features a, uh, a body of black glossy lacquer over metal. It's got this silver clip and then a grip section made of this warm, swirling briarwood it's very cool so we've got uh, the rollerball in the ballpoint right now um 
but I, I, I really like it. It's and it's and it's got an interesting shape to it too. So it actually kind of it, it's a little bit wider. Just a hair. Just a it hair. Bulges out just a yeah. hair. It reminds me of the old uh, kind of the old Zaner Wolzer mm -hmm. uh, pens. And the cap screws on to close um, quite far down on the section. So um, where you kind of naturally hold it has nothing to do with the threads. And I know for some people that's an issue. So that's pretty and cool. And then it does have a, a little... And, Ooh, and it's these, a catch. yeah, there's a little little nipple there on the on the end, and so the cap does snap on the post, so it's not. <laughs> it's not going to fly off. <laughs> it could. Um, <laughs> so this is this is the uh, the briar wood. And then this one they call the brilliant lacquer diamond. Uh, there are no diamonds, but um, several rings of polished um, silver and. Uh, just, it's it's really pretty. It's, this this is a really classy looking yeah. pen. I like this one a lot. So, and it does it'll, check this out. It's got a nice mm. so you can press it to put it in your pocket, which cool. is nice. I always like that feature. Anytime you can do a one handed yep. into your pocket without having to you know yeah. do this, you know it's 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 pretty cool. I like the silver colored rings. Um, gives it just a little bit of of oomph uh, without being overwhelming. So fountain pen should be here any day. I actually I was. Quite surprised they, did, they didn't show up with, with the rollerballs and ballpoints, but they do have uh, fountain pens come only with 14 karat, uh, the two tone 14 karat oh, nice. lummy nib. Yep. Yeah, so it's gonna be a really, really great looking pen. And the ballpoint is a push button, yep. which I do like quick and yep. easy. So cool. Next up on the other end of the lummy scale, the lummy balloon. These uh, are fun. So this is a really interesting pen. Um, it comes in three colors. Uh, pink, green, and blue, and this is a rollerball only pen. Uh, it's got, of course, trans, uh, translucent plastic, color matching plastic grip. Um, got that contoured grip, just like uh, all the rest of the Safaris and and the All Stars have. Um, so you can hold it correctly for the optimal writing experience. There you go, as they uh, say. But. Uh, uh, the one thing about this is that uh, the Lamy balloon only uses the T11 balloon refill. So it's this little bit different refill. And then it has a spacer in the back to keep it tight, which is interesting. But it is interesting. Really, really some super fun colors. I love this green. This reminds me of those uh, Pro Gear Slim minis that used to come in the, in the green and the pink. Uh, but uh, just something a little bit extra fun. You definitely can't lose that in no. your case or in your bag. And they're, they're, they're as you can imagine, fairly inexpensive. All right. Also just in, Girologio denim pen cases. These are cool. I forgot we ordered these. <laughs> well, I literally ordered these like in early May, and then they showed up this, uh, well, this last week. We've been a busy since then. Well, they, they were like a pre-ordered right. kind of deal, and they came in. Uh, we've got them in 312 and 24 uh, pen cases. So sizes. this is the magnetic three pen. Um, nice dark denim, like fancy jeans. Um, it's really soft. Nice and sturdy. It's, it's, it's it really is nice. Definitely, um, yeah. It's it's like nice jeans. It's like well, yeah, but it's it's not. It's not it's, like it's brand soft. New. It's soft, yeah. really soft. Yeah, and then it, I, I like the stitch logo on there. Yes, um, and of course. Same same inside you come to expect with the Girologia. You can fit pens as large as a 149. A King of Pen will fit in here. Um, and, that, a and double loops, which is nice. These are nice. I like that, um, you know, I love leather pen cases. I have more than we're going to talk about right now. But um, I do like that it's a slightly more casual look, but... Um, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's not really going to get scuffed up, you know. It's, no, some that's of the, the thing. some of the you know the like the black leathers which have the glossy finish, you know, you can or the or even the matte ones, um, you know, if you run your fingernails across them, you're going to you, yeah. you can you can scratch them. This is just these are going to yeah, it's real fun. Wear so, well. Uh, Girologio denim three twelve and twenty four. Perfect. Oh God. <laughs> Do you need a I moment? I need a moment. All right. So we saw these at the pen party. And in fact, we had the first two available for sale in the country, and they both sold that weekend, which was good because I was probably nice. going nice. to keep one. Yeah. Um, 
So Visconti is thrilled to announce the launch of their latest Homo sapiens collection featuring Jonathan Brooks' industry-famous hand-mixed resins. And Jonathan Brooks does beautiful stuff. So we have the Homo sapiens Earth Origins. That's this this one, one is here. the Earth. Yeah. And then this one is the water. And I, th the earth is gorgeous. Don't get this me wrong. This is nice. This is really but beautiful. I'm a big fan of anything with blues and teals and greens and purples. And I just drooled over this, uh, the one that we had during the pen party. And I was shocked that the earth sold first. Um, and we did sell the water the second day. And now we've restocked. And so somebody needs to buy this before I end up keeping it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, while she's doing that, I'll tell you a little bit really about them here. Uh, they're inspired by the elements that make up our planner, wa planet, water, and earth. Each is limited to 388 pieces worldwide. Um, uh, four elements come together in this collection to remind us the origins of our planet. Earth, wind, fire, and water interacting to form the materials of our existence inspired by the mythical and primordial forces that shaped our planet and ignited the very spark of human existence. This collection embodies the essence of timeless energy and boundless inspiration. How much um, time did it take somebody at this A lot of time, that? apparently. These mesmerizing writing instruments bring on forth uh, the essence of the elements, igniting creativity in connection to the very core of existence. Uh, of course, the, what we will we'll want to know here, of course, solid gold nib, uh, power filler, uh, and we have these available right now in a fine nib. Yes. So nice uh, clip. I mean, this is great. This is really, really. That is beautiful. Really, really it's good looking. It's absolutely pen. beautiful. Good pen. Fact, and it's unusual. It's unusual. You know, yellow is sometimes a a, a little bit of but a. It's, it's a but it's golden. Got, it's got it's teal in like it. Yellow. Yeah, and it's got black. It's really, really great looking pen. This matches my shirt. All right, and we're moving right <laughs> along here because we got a this lot of stuff gorgeous. to cover. I'm, I'm just, I'm busy. <laughs> Just in ST DuPont D initial velvet collection. So these are available in ballpoints and roller balls. Um, they're not actually velvet. Well, then no, no. I was not. confused. Do you, thought... you remember that a long time ago there was that hideous Aurora Ypsilon collection that was like fuzzy? Do you remember that? And and you can't say that. I can say that because they don't bad. they don't make it anymore. Oh, it was yeah, terrible. Yeah, I do remember. And, and and they kept kept. They kept being brought around to shows, and I, and I eventually I, and, and I offered to buy them just to get really rid of them. Good deal. Like it wasn't it a good enough deal. Better and better and better, and yeah, no. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do remember they were fuzzy. They were they fuzzy. Were bad. Was, I mean, can you imagine? You spill coffee. It was just no. terrible. So anyway, these are called these are velvet, velvet, but these are not actual fuzzy. Uh, um. So the St. Dupont D initial velvet rollerball. You've got one. That's here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, features a solid brass body and cap coated with um, matte lacquer, accented by black plated trim. So all three of these are a matte finish. Yeah, this is great. Very, very matte. And um, uh, have the black plated trim. I wouldn't call it a rough texture. No, it's just But matte. It's, it's definitely matte. just very matte, which is nice. Yeah, um, it's and really it's, good looking. It's this, available in the graphite. This, this is awesome. Ocean I love blue. This color. And the lilac. Yeah. So these are very nice. And then they also come in a ballpoint as well, which is a twist to action. Nice long, nice long grip on that. Yes. Very pretty. All right. All right, we had a contest uh, last week. We did. Uh, APTV, it was it actually it was a little bit late, right? So the wish Lisa a happy birthday. Well, my yes. Uh, Which was really contest. easy. You didn't have to do anything to win. Just well, you never have to do anything to win. You just have to. Well, sometimes you have to like. You had count. to do something. You had to do something. You here. did. You had you to wish me happy birthday. Something. But sometimes you have to go and like count your pens or your notebooks well, or whatever. Know. I know. I've never won. You're not allowed to win. No, no, no. All right. So All right. Uh, I'm just going to start reading some of these off Go here ahead. since it was your birthday. It Traditional was. Larry says, have a ha very happy birthday to Lisa, the first lady of fountain pens. Aw, isn't That's that cute? That's very sweet. Uh, Scott Clee, hey, uh, Scott. forgive me, Scott. Scott K, uh, happy birthday, Lisa. Thanks for keeping Brian in line. Hey, wait a minute it's here. It's a lot of work. Um, Susan Fleming says, happy birthday, Lisa. Definitely 29 fits better, but if I win, I'll gladly accept the 58. Okay. I don't have a problem with 58. 
I have I, I clearly, earned it. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Uh, William Brockman, congrats on 29 times two, Lisa. Yes. But I'm still ahead of you by 15. May your next 15 be as good as mine have been. Since I have to believe you've made your avocation your vocation, I must also believe they will be. Congrats on that, too. Not many achieve it. That's very thoughtful. Karen Higgins says, happy birthday, Lisa, 59 and holding. Looking great. Thank you. I always enjoy visiting you in Chicago, but have to admit my love of you and Brian giving each other lovingly a hard time now you are both in Appleton is lots of fun to watch. Lots of fun to do as well. Make it a good one as you travel around the sun once again this year. Uh, let's see. Don Baxter says, happy birthday, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, we came to the pen party from Indiana and really enjoyed the visit. Uh, got some much needed supplies and got a nib tuned. I think my wife got a new appreciation for my passion for fountain pens, ink, and paper. That's key for a lot of people. Um, we also attended the Art in the Park event and had a lovely cool. time seeing all of the items available from the artisans. That's, I miss going to that. Yeah, yeah they happen to, oh, maybe next year we'll be able yeah. to do that. So. Keep up the good work on APTV. Really enjoy the weekly episodes. Uh, Elizabeth Moulton says, happy birthday, Lisa. Thanks to everyone for the pen party. I discussed with many attendees that this is the only pen show we would see, <laughs> and it was fabulous. Nice. Being able to try out all the Estabrook and Pilot Nibs was also was wonderful. Seeing the new Visconti water was a highlight for me, but yes! out of my pen budget for this year, I ended up with my first Pilot Pen, a custom 743 in green, which is not green. Very true. Uh, happy day. And awesome. we have a winner. Yes. Jerry Darden says, uh, happy birthday, Lisa. It's the memories that count, not the years. Congratulations, Jerry. Uh, write to Eric at AndersonPens.com. He'll take credit, uh, take care of getting that lovely credit. <laughs> and he'll take, he'll take credit he for He can talk too. for me too. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I'll take care of getting that credit on your Anderson Pence account. We have a new contest. Great. In honor of International Left-Handers Day, uh, do you have a recommendation for a quick drying ink or any other recommendations for lefty tools? Uh, let us know in the comments section. One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pence account. Parker Quink. Quick drying ink. Okay. That's my recommendation. I'm excited about this. This I is know super you cool. Are. That's why See, you are every do... other year I get one, and this is the year. This <laughs> happens to be the year. <laughs> I know. Uh, coming soon, the Pilot Vanishing Point 60th Anniversary 2023 Limited Edition Conriki. Um, Pilot unveiled the Capless Pen on October 21st, 1963, making this year the 60th anniversary. Wow. Uh, Conriki is a traditional celebration held on your 60th birthday. Ooh. And uh, the Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition for 2023 is the Conriki and has a unique design. Uh, of course, you all know that the nib retracts. Uh, so the moment you're ready to write, so is the Vanishing Point. Love these pens. Once the writing is done, a geniusly designed door closes over the retracted nib to prevent the ink from drying out. Have you looked at that? I, I, yeah, it's cool. It's kind of yeah. fun Most people watch. don't look at it. You know, they yeah. do it and then that's, they, yeah. they go to work. So Actually, but but... Click it and watch the trap door. It's, it's just cool. Trust me. So the Conriki uh, features a shimmering red body with black plated trim and a rhodium plated 18 karat gold medium nib. <laughs> really looking forward to seeing this body in person because the photographs that Pilot gave us, you know, you, you kind of have to yeah, wonder. Yeah, they're not. But it looks, it looks great. Um, the clip is designed to hold the nib in an upward position, of course, when the pen is not in use, which prevents the pen from accidentally opening when clipped to a shirt pocket. And it is restricted to 2,023 pens this year. Uh, I do know there is a smaller allocation to the U.S. Uh, and they say this every year, but they've definitely made a point to say it this year, that yes. there's a smaller allocation this year than ever because they're trying to spread the love for the anniversary pen throughout the world. So... Nobody asked us about that. Nobody did because no. uh, I get one. I, I keep one every other year, it seems. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't like them all. I don't keep them all. Uh, I didn't keep one last year, but I did the year before, okay. which was the blue, and then last year was right. the red, and then this year uh, I, okay. I, have to, I have to have this one. So okay. those are coming soon. Uh, sign up for a back-in-stock notification when they come in. They will, I am certain of it, they will be gone the very first date, and I believe yes. these, these are coming out in October to match the, the, the anniversary date, yes. but they will go the first day. So if, um, uh, if you're interested in this pen, sign up, and uh, when you get the email... Go buy it buy. then because it, it, won't, it will they not will be around. Not yeah. 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 So, 
Uh, anything else? Yes. We should talk about the rewards program. Uh, we should talk about the. Did we talk about it last week? We did. But we had a, a minor at work, then it didn't, then it started up again. Uh, yeah, there was, there was, there was, there was <laughs> a little, a little minor, with minor, new software. minor we're, we're struggling with tech this week. Um, so, but the rewards program is active, and um, we've been watching. And as you are um, placing orders, once they are marked as shipped and they're on their way to you, your store credit is in your account. Yep. It usually takes about 24 to 48 hours for that credit to apply, but right. it gets in there. And um, and then you can use that on your next purchase, or you, you can save up if you want. Yes. Uh, because the credit is actually automatically applied to your order total. Right. Uh, and when you get down to the payment method, there's actually the first thing you see is a checkbox that says, use my available credit. So if you want to save up to buy your 60th anniversary Conriki, you just uncheck that box. Uh, and uh, and and you can you can let those credits accumulate. Ac accumulate. Yep. So uh, it is it is working. Uh, the the vendor actually had a, a software update a couple weeks ago, uh, and then we kind of came in on the tail end of that. And uh, apparently, I'm going to send a bill for my debugging. But uh, <laughs> um, we, we we got her we got her running now, and uh, and everything looks uh, looks good. So and then um, you will start to receive some emails. Um, just occasionally just with a an reminder update with, to remind you. You've got some credits that exactly. you, you can spend. So. Oh, there you go. All right. Is that it? Um, I think so. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And please like this video and subscribe to our channel.